I created all of these eye-catching thumbnails, and I didn't use Canva or Photoshop. In fact, I used a single AI tool that is so powerful that it could easily replace thumbnail designers that cost significantly more. Ask any expert, and thumbnails are one of the major factors that will decide whether you go viral or your video gets little to no traction. That is why it is so important to have an easy, solid, and consistent way to generate thumbnails that will be attractive to your audience. In this video, I'll show you a step-by-step -step demonstration of Pixels.com and show you how you too can create amazing thumbnails without a ton of design experience. When you log into Pixels, you'll be prompted at this starting screen. You have a couple of options here, thumbnail, recreate, and face swap. We'll look into recreate and face swap in a little bit, but let's start with the thumbnail option. Imagine you're in a tech niche and want to showcase robots performing household tasks. Let's start with a prompt. A bald man with glasses gasping in shock while pointing to some very advanced looking robots doing household chores. Now we'll hit generate. I'm not a huge fan of this generation. All I need to do is click the redo button and we'll get another generation. This one is much better. As you can see, there are a couple of robots doing random chores and a guy with glasses who looks concerned. Now, let's say you wanna make a small edit. I'll enter a new prompt. Make the man happy, keep everything else the same, and hit generate. Now, the gentleman is smiling. In this version, we also see a robot in the background vacuuming. The robots look better in this one, but the man's hand might look a little mechanical, almost like a robot's hand. Overall, it's a pretty cool thumbnail. The reason I specified the bald head and glasses was to show how we can use the face swap feature. By clicking on the face swap icon, I'll upload a file or headshot of my AI avatar. After it loads, I'll hit generate. Now, the AI has swapped my avatar's face into the generation. It didn't do a great job with the glasses, and I've noticed the tool works better with high-quality photos of actual faces rather than AI avatars. In this case, I might create the thumbnail without the person in the foreground and then overlay my AI avatar manually. When using the face swap feature, prompt the AI to create a person as close to you as possible. That way, you'll have the best results. If you don't have an AI avatar or are designing thumbnails that have a real person in them or no people, this basic prompting feature is fantastic for creating quick, high quality thumbnails without hiring an expensive designer. Let's go back to the dashboard and check out the recreate feature. It's well known that popular YouTubers often create thumbnails inspired by others editing them slightly while keeping the essence. With pixels, this is very easy. For example, I found a thumbnail for a 14 days in Japan travel itinerary video. This channel has 211,000 subscribers, but the video got 10 million views. So it's clearly a strong thumbnail. I'll copy the video link, paste it into pixels and adjust the inspiration weight High will closely mimic the original thumbnail, medium allows some alterations, and low gives a general style. Let's say we want to adapt it for a 14 days in New York City video. And let's pretend we are doing a travel vlog for New York. So we'll change Japan to New York City and hit generate. To test out the different settings, I tried out all three strength settings. The medium setting retained the original's arch but struggled with text, creating 14 days in New Yodric City. The high setting produced a cool thumbnail, but again, the text needs tweaking. The low setting actually handled the text the best, but added some odd details like random signs. Still, with a bit of touch up, you could easily use these as excellent thumbnails. Here are several more recreate thumbnails that I created.
with the pricing for this tool starting at $20 per month, it's really not as expensive as you might think. You can generate 20 thumbnails on this plan, although some of the features are blocked. The plan I'm on is $40 a month and allows up to 100 thumbnails and all the features Pixels has to offer. I've generated everything you've seen in this video, and I still have about 80 thumbnails left to go. With this, I'll be able to generate a ton of extra thumbnails for my channel for future videos. This would also be plenty if you run multiple channels or want to sell thumbnail design as a service. Either way, I will leave a link in the description for this tool so you can sign up and start creating. This tool can save you significant money on a professional designer. It's not perfect, especially with text, so keeping another tool like Canva handy might help. As with many AI programs, this one is constantly getting new models and better features, so it's only going to get better from here. Specifically, the upcoming title feature might improve text handling, making this tool even more powerful.